In this video, I show you how to use Bluestacks. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to download and install Bluestacks, and then I'll show you how exactly you can go and use it. So all you need to do is head into the description or the pinned comment of this video and go and tap on the link labeled download Bluestacks. Then this will take you to this page here to bluestacks.com. Alternatively, just go and Google Bluestacks. And if you don't already know what Bluestacks actually is is that it's an Android emulator so what this means is we're gonna have an Android device on our computer as a program and you can go and use your mouse and keyboard as the inputs which your fingers would usually be and it's really useful you can go and get Google Play Store apps and use them on your computer then once you're here what we want what I recommend doing is getting Bluestacks 5 Bluestacks 5 is my preferred version of it and I'll show you how to go and use it so go and tap on download Bluestacks 5 just like so and the download will then begin and the Bluestacks installer will download onto your computer now it's important to know that every browser is slightly different uh, so you may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder to go and find the installer file then go and double click on it or just click on it and you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. Then once Bluestacks opens, go and tap on the install button and Bluestacks will start downloading and then automatically installing. And after it's finished installing, it'll take a few minutes, Bluestacks is gonna go and automatically launch and you'll get a screen which looks something like this. As you can see, it'll say starting Bluestacks. If you can't go and see it, then what I recommend doing is just going and searching your computer for Bluestacks or clicking on it on your desktop icon. Now, as you can see, I've gone and used Bluestacks before and got a ton of awesome apps on here. When it comes to controls you literally just use your mouse and keyboard as your finger it's pretty simple so the first thing i want to show you on bluestacks is how you can go and download games and apps so to do that go and open up the play store which should be the first app in the top left and when you first open the play store for the first time you are going to need to go and log into your google play account because of course this is android uh, so yeah just go and sign, sign into a google account and that is the same as google play account and then you can go and search for the app or game you'd like to go and download so this could be i don't know literally anything like um in shop for example go and search that and then you can go and download it. So go and tap on it, and there's gonna be um, an install button. In this case, I've already got this app installed, but you can go and install any app you'd like. Then what you need to do is get back to the home screen. So to do that, you need to go and press on the home button in the top left or the bottom right, just like so, and this will take you straight back here. And now the next thing I want to go and show you is how you can go and add files to Bluestacks. For example, if you're using a video editor like InShot, you probably want to go and get video files from your uh, main computer into Bluestacks, and that's really easy. To do that, you need to go and open up system apps and then you can go to media manager just like so and then what you can go and do is tap on import from windows and when you tap on import from windows your file explorer is going to go and open up and you can go and choose the files you want to go and add into bluestacks and then if you want to go and export a file then all you need to do is press export to windows and then that file will be exported to windows it's super easy and uh, yeah so now i want to show you back to your home screen again to press that home button you may go and like get a game for example and you may notice that it's sort of slightly lagging or slightly slow so you you can actually go and increase the Bluestacks performance. So to do that, what you need to do is go and press on the settings cog in the bottom right, just like so, and this will take you to your settings or for Bluestacks. Make sure performance is selected, and then what you can go and do is go and allocate more CPU. By default, it's probably on low, so what you can do is go and increase the amount of cores you've got. I personally use three cores out of my six because I don't like to use more than half, so if you've got four, then I recommend using medium. And to go and see how much, um, how many CPU cores you have, then what you need to do is press on search on your computer and type in system information, just like so. And this is gonna tell you all the information about your system. And as you can see, um, I've got a six core processor, so I like to use half of my cores. But you can go and use more, but you know, just make sure you understand the risk you're doing by doing that. And then for memory allocation, uh, the max you can have is four, but once again, I wouldn't use more than half of your RAM. I've got 16, I can only use four anyway, so that's fine. And then for performance mode, I recommend using high performance. What this is gonna do is gonna use a lot more power of your computer, um, but you're gonna get a better experience. And then this stuff here is gonna be mainly up to you. I have it all switched off and then a max of 60 frames. And then there are a few more settings I'd like to go and show you. So come to the left-hand side menu here and go and tap on graphics. Um, and then what I personally have is performance and OpenGL. That seems to work the best for me, but of course, you know, try these out and see which work, work best for your system. And that's the main settings. Of course, you can go and change the other settings as well, but that's up to you. And when you go and download an app, it's just gonna appear on this screen here. So I'll quickly end this video off by showing you Subway Surfers. So I'll go and tap on it just like so, and then it's gonna go and flip the phone because this is the vertical app. And as you can see, it's telling me the buttons I can go and use, which is really useful. And so it's now loaded, and in this case, I'll be using my arrow keys to go and play the game. So as you can see, I can just go and move across just like so and play the game. But of course, you could use um, productivity apps. I'm just using this as a quick example. So if you guys found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.